what's just so amazing about this staff, we didn't call a single person, a single staff member uh, back the night of the tornado, but we had absolutely everyone that we needed. Anytime I turned around, there was always somebody that was had come to help. I turned around and here's my CCU director. I turned around, here's my med surge director. I turned around, here's two extra staff from med surge. Um, people just came in. People just came in. The biggest thing was the emotional overwhelm to see that many people out at that point affected little kids, older people, young, just people who have lost everything suddenly and then they feel blank. What's going on? They couldn't understand. I personally feel it was a moral responsibility of any physician who in the capability could help. But the county had set up a command center where FEMA and the local EMA were working out of. So representing our LifePoint Command Center, I had daily conversations just to discuss resources that we were moving in or identify needs that the community had that we may be able to assist with. But I remember on a couple of different occasions, and it was always very busy there, when they would, I would be on the phone and the person would lay the phone down to go get an answer or find out something. On two or three occasions, somebody would pick up that phone and say, hey, you're gonna keep the hospital running, right? Or we hear that the hospital's running at full capacity, right? or you're under normal operating circumstances, right? So there was always this, what I call gratitude that I was hearing that our employees at our hospital and our hospital team there were functioning because it was comfort. It was comfort for those individuals working in the command center and the first responders to know that that hospital team had that hospital running in, in as close to normal operation as you can under those circumstances. When I, I actually had not spoken to the mayor after the tornado until I got to call her and tell her that uh, LifePoint was going to make that donation, and uh, it, she uh, she cried. <laughs> I may have cried, and uh, it was it was quite a moment. We're about keeping communities healthier. That doesn't necessarily mean we're going to only take care of you when you're sick or we're in, you're injured, but we're a part of the fabric of these communities. You know, we're ladies and gentlemen taking care of ladies and gentlemen, and the, and unfortunately. As sad as it might sound to some, we do our best work in disasters. And that was just proven again with the tornadoes that have, that have occurred in, uh, in Mayfield, Kentucky. Uh, and we're gonna be very, very um, uh, targeted in, in the things that we do that will promote the health of the community uh, with this million dollar uh, gift toward rebuilding. When our community needs us in these disasters, they count on us to come to work and do our job. And our people do it no matter what. They leave their families, they leave their wives, husbands, and their kids, and they come to work and do what they need to do. This staff is just beyond uh, remarkable, and they're all heroes, and, and, um, and they're, I know their community appreciates them.